Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So obviously if you live in America or pretty much anywhere else around the globe, we have been in the COVID pandemic for exactly a year now. I was going to kind of make a documentary style video and explain to my future kids and anyone in the future kind of everything that's been happening this year. And then as I was pulling all this footage, I realized that I actually did a documentary for a school project about COVID and how I was dealing with it pretty much exactly a year ago. So I thought I'd just share that video as a little documentary to document the struggle and reality of what this pandemic has um, done to our society, I guess. I know in this video, I was still questioning if I was gonna have prom or not. This was my prom dress. It was gonna be so pretty, but I never got to wear it. I did have an outdoor graduation type thing, but obviously it wasn't the traditional one that I was expecting to have. And this year has been anything but traditional. We've definitely all had to adjust to everything and it hasn't been easy, but there's now a vaccine and things seem to be getting better and starting to open up a bit more. So a year later, we are still in a quarantine, but not like we're outside, but we have to wear masks and everything still. And I have hope that it will get better, but I also had hope that it was only gonna last two weeks like last year. So I don't know, a year later, we're still here surviving COVID-19. So anyways, without further ado, here's my documentary that I made last year about COVID and how it was affecting us in the beginning. And I just wanted to create this little video a year later, sort of giving a little update and just documenting what this has been like because obviously my future kids and stuff will definitely ask about it and I think it'll just be interesting to show people so yeah hope you guys enjoy this documentary and keep in mind this was a year ago so So a little over a month ago, I was super happy. I had so much to look forward to. As a senior in high school, I had prom and graduation. I was cherishing every moment of the last few months of high school. However, this happiness didn't last very long because it was abruptly interrupted by the coronavirus. There are more than 275,000 infections worldwide and more than 11,000 deaths. Across the country, some hospitals bracing for the worst. Europe continues to struggle to contain the coronavirus. Patients on life support. We need to take this seriously. Because it is coming everywhere. The virus started in China and rapidly spread to Europe and Italy and then the United States and a bunch of other countries as well. Rumors start to spread about closing school and going into a mandatory quarantine and about a few weeks after that, the rumors became true. We're social distancing at the beach. You can only go outside if you're wearing this. We've been quarantined in our homes for a little over a month now. Because I suffer with depression, my biggest concern was that I wasn't gonna be socializing or having motivation to do school anymore. Personally, school is the biggest thing I've been struggling with just because it's kind of hard to keep up with online classes when you're not used to that type of learning. So a lot of schools already said that they're not going back. I'm kind of nervous because that means my I won't have my senior retreat, my senior prom, my senior grad night but I am glad I'm healthy and I'm glad that I can finish out my school year like online or whatever but it just is kind of unfortunate however I'm really glad that we have technology where we can communicate with our family and friends via <laughs> Skype or FaceTime and Zoom as much as I want to give my friends hugs and hang out with them it's really important that we stay inside right now to try to flatten the curve the only public things you're allowed to do right now are go to the grocery store However, you have to stand six feet apart from everyone. There's limited people allowed inside at the same time and you're required to wear gloves and a mask. You're allowed to pick up food or have it delivered, but again, you have to stand six feet apart and wear masks and gloves. The only stores that are open are essential ones like CVS, drugstores, pharmacies, stuff like that. 
you always hear about tragedies that are happening in different counties or cities or whatever it is personally i haven't lived through something like this this is a worldwide pandemic and everybody is struggling in one way or another whether it's emotionally physically, financially. We are going into a global recession. Recession uh, in the next quarter or two because everything is shutting down, of course. It's almost like a meteor hit the entire planet. Industries like retail, restaurants, air travel, and hotels have laid off thousands of workers as business has stopped. As the days go by, I pretty much pass the time by doing online school, hanging out with my family, spending time with my dogs. Happy birthday, Rocco. Are you six years old? Gracie. We brought out a lot of puzzles and board games and watched a lot of movies. When I'm alone, I've just been listening to music, making art, and creating YouTube videos. No, that doesn't. <laughs> oh. And on warmer days, I'm lucky enough to have a pool that I'll just sit by to tan or go swimming. Isn't that cool? The date that quarantine ends keeps getting pushed back and we're not sure if we're even going to have a summer. Festivals, concerts, movies, TV shows, and more are being affected by coronavirus. Stacey, those summer events that we long for all year round now doubtful for this summer. Even movie premieres are at risk as health officials advise people to avoid crowds if possible. My senior prom was supposed to be this weekend and my graduation was supposed to be coming next month and senior grad night and senior trip and all that stuff and i don't think that a majority of that's gonna happen even in the future so it's currently 2 a.m and i've been watching these like high school senior like missing out on like their senior year videos because of the coronavirus and i don't know why i'm like crying and i'm like angry inside but i put in so much work and like got back into school to not even be at school i just really hope that this all ends soon so we can just get back to living out those like memories that I know were gonna be so good, but now it's like, don't even know if they're gonna happen with this. It just sucks working so hard for something and waiting for it for basically 12 years and then something like this comes and ruins it. I might not be able to wear my prom dress that I've had for months or my cap and gown. Senior year of high school during the spring semester is supposed to be like apex of where your young life is. That's the best five months of your young life supposed to be. And now it's basically smashed for so many people. I wanted my parents to watch me walk across that stage. All my friends did it when they graduated and all my siblings. And I wanted the chance to graduate senior year and walk across the stage. We've been working for this, for graduation for 12 years. Um, and I want, I want to see it all like pan out and I don't want it to just end. But it's really important to look at the positives and see what you have to be grateful for. I'm grateful for my health and my family. And the internet to keep us all connected during this time. Also the healthcare professionals and the essential workers working day and night to try their best to help the communities around them. At the end of the day, my hopes for this time are that people stay positive they find a cure for the virus, and then after this, we can all appreciate our lives a whole lot more. To learn more about how you can do your part in preventing the spread of COVID-19, visit www.cdc.gov. Thank you guys so much for watching my documentary that I made last year. Hopefully this pandemic will be over soon. Um, I am definitely looking forward to everything opening up and becoming normal again. It's crazy that it's already been a whole year of dealing with this, but we have gotten through it so far. So give yourself a pat on the back and congratulate yourself for making it through. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. 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 Bye.